Hi, it's Josh from Alternative Brewing, and I've got the three Baratza Sete grinders here we'll be comparing today. We have the Sete 30AP, the Sete 270, and the Sete 270WI. They may all look the same, but there are some big differences too. You may not always need the grinder with the full kit of extras, so we're gonna compare these from top to bottom to see their similarities and further discuss their differences. All the Baratza Sede grinders can accommodate 400 grams of beans. With the hopper, you have a shutoff valve that's built in also, and this lets you remove your beans to place them in storage without spilling them everywhere. This is very handy. Comparing the control panels at the front, there's big differences here, and it's that with the Sete 30AP, you only have one setting. And on the Sete 270 and 270 WI, you have additional presets, meaning you can program three separate quick push buttons for your specific needs. So with the Sete 30 AP and the Sete 270, it's time-based grinding. And the Sete 270 WI, it's weight-based grinding. And all of these grinders use the same 40 millimeter steel conical burrs, relying on a unique design of which the outer ring burr rotates around a stationary conical burr in the middle. And this design feature provides high-speed grinding up to five grams per second. And I've got to say, it does this fairly accurately and quietly with minimal grind retention. Any of these grinders will grind for espresso and will do a good job at it, but they'll also grind for a finer filter, say mocha pot, uh, stove top, AeroPress, and V60. The Sete 270 and the 270 WI have redesigned gearbox systems, and this gives these two models slightly better advantage with grinding consistency though and power overall. Moving down on the grinders, comparing the grind size adjustment assemblies, they also differ. On the 30AP, you have 31 stepped macro settings. On the Sete 270 and 270 WI, you have those same 31 stepped macro settings, but there's also a stepless micro adjuster ring underneath as well. And this really lets you tweak the grind that infinite bit more finer or coarser between each step setting. So without having to jump to a setting that may be too coarse or too fine for your needs. That extra adjustment ring gives you a total of 270 grind settings. Next down, comparing the device arms. Straightforward on the 30AP, have them out or have them in. You can use the bin catcher or you can hold on to the porter filter whilst grinding. You can use a filter cone or a V60 here as well. And the 270 and the 270WI will also do all that, but here it lets you grind hands free with the porter filter. Just th turn those device arms in, swivel around the basket holder and grind away. And how the 270WI differs from the 270 and the 30AP here is that it has inbuilt scales into the porter filter rest. It weighs the grinds out for you. Program to 20 grams and it will grind straight into your basket 20 grams every time, no matter how much you change the grind setting. To really consider which of the three Baratza Sede grinders is right for you, we refer to the Sede 30AP as the entry level choice of espresso grinder for the fact you only have 31 stepped grinder settings, better suited to entry level espresso machines such as the Rancilio Silvia and Gargia Classic. You'd choose the 30AP also if you're wanting to brew regular mocha pot or filter coffee at home. And I'd be looking at either the Sete 270 or 270 WI if you're wanting to brew the ideal espresso recipe because in reality these two grinders are stepless grinders which is more desirable when you're fine tuning for that specific flow rate. And perhaps you've got a heat exchanger or a dew boiler or espresso machine. And I'd go for the 270 WI because it has inbuilt scales and you want to minimize your waste and maximize the accuracy whilst you're brewing. This grinder will learn when to shut off the motor so you get that extra precision when grinding. It's the 270 WI that's the premium model sete because it has all these functions working off very accurate Akea Scales technology. And you're able to have its firmware updated. Either way, you're gonna find good consistency and fluffy grinds that fall straight into the porter filter with any of these grinders. They're easy to keep clean and maintain as well. Baratza do exceptional work to offer premium features in grinders that you rarely see in a range that's affordable and perform well for home espresso. And you're more likely to spend twice or three times as much for a more commercial grade grinder here. So Baratza also have several options with specifically filter grinding, starting with the Baratza Encore and the Baratza Virtuoso Plus. So we're gonna catch up with these grinders in a later video. So if you have any questions about these Sete grinders, throw a comment below. Subscribe to keep posted about the next videos we're bringing out and uh, hit like if you've enjoyed watching this video. We'll see you next time.